This video is to teach you about the biomedical approach to health. Through this video, you will learn more about understanding the biomedical approach to health and how it has contributed to improving Australia's health status over time. So in this graph, we can see it's showing life expectancy ranging from the 1900s to now um, for both males and females. And we know from previous chapters and work that we've done that life expectancy has increased since the 1900s. The biomedical model and approach to health has contributed significantly to this um, by helping reduce mortality rates, which therefore has helped increase life expectancy. The biomedical model has been around since the 1900s as well in conjunction with old public health. It has just become far more advanced as years go on in terms of the medical technology, um, which has helped really with that increase in life expectancy. And we will explore some examples of that medical technology shortly. When you hear the phrase or see the words, the biomedical approach or the biomedical model, I want you to think about these following dot points to help you um, and remind you what this model is all about. So anything to do with treating disease, disability and illness, diagnosing and treating. So really here thinking about um, if you get any examples of a graph and a spike in illness and how that was treated and reduction in deaths, medical technologies, doctors, hospitals, specialists, and really focusing on an individual and returning an individual to health pre their condition or illness that they may have, that is what the biomedical model is. I want you to think about that if you go to the doctors, you might present with symptoms. So you might go to the doctors um, after a sporting accident, you may have broken your leg. The doctor treats that broken leg. You might then need to go to hospital or see a specialist. So that is also an element of a biomedical model. Another example is if um, an older person, for example, may have a heart attack, they would go into hospital and most likely get surgery. That's an element of the biomedical model. It's treating the disease. It's treating the disease once the disease is present. It treats symptoms. It's really focusing on individual health. However, prevention is not a focus. It's more so around, okay, someone has presented with X, Y, Z. How are we going to treat it? Through that diagnosis, through that medical treatment, through the vast array of medical technology, that is what the biomedical model um, is and that is why sometimes it is called the band-aid or quick fix approach because it is treating an illness or condition once it is present rather than preventing it. So you will very commonly see questions that, that are asking you to outline or discuss um, strengths or advantages of the biomedical model. Um, so these are a few examples. So think about if we take into consideration what the biomedical model is around that treatment, that diagnosis, um, a really important example is that that funding from the biomedical approach helps um, bring about improvements in technology and research. So think about everything that has been, I guess, discovered or created since the 1900s, like antibiotics, x-rays, anesthetics, so that surgeries are allowed the heart-lung bypass mach machine so that surgeries can be longer and help treat more serious conditions. Um, there wouldn't be that knowledge um, if there was no funding to be able to have that really high level of diagnosis and treatment. So that's a really important one there. Um, if we're, again, looking at that diagnosis and treatment, that the biomedical model allows life expectancy to be extended which is going to increase someone's quality of life. So lots of diseases like cardiovascular disease in the early 1900s, because there were no surgeries like the heart-lung bypass machine, which could help keep someone alive during those extensive and long surgeries, there were more people dying from things like that. And a really common one is our infectious diseases, which we know we had that really large spike in the 1900s. Even though the old public health was responsible for the introduction of mass immunization programs, the biomedical model um, allowed for the actual discovery of vaccines. And we know through the recent COVID-19 pandemic that vaccines are still being developed 
in response to health emergencies or new diseases that are spreading around the world. This increases life expectancy and it reduces um, mortality as well. It also allows many illnesses and conditions to be effectively treated. So medicine, antibiotics, everything like that, if that wasn't around, things like a common cold or an upper respiratory tract infection, or if you you know had an accident, a car accident, or fell off a bike or something like that, and you got an infection in part of your body, they are all things that are treated through antibiotics and medicine, um, and that is responsible by the biomedical model. So this slide is really to just give you some examples of specific medical technologies, because remember, medical technologies are examples of the biomedical approach to health in terms of the five categories of disease. Now, it's not just limited to these examples of diseases that you might get on the exam, but this is just some examples. So when we're looking at these, these are all examples of positives that have been brought in or created or advancements in me medical technology that have allowed the biomedical approach to be so successful and contribute to those positive improvements in health status. So when we're talking about positive improvements, we're going back to the reduction in mortality and the increase in life expectancy. So these are all some examples here. I'm just gonna run through one from each column, but you'll see why these are really handy when we start to look at our application type question questions and the analysis type questions as the key skill for this particular topic is to be able to analyze the strengths and limitations of the biomedical model. So we need to be practicing those analysis questions. So for infectious and parasitic diseases, we've spoken about the discovery of vaccines. So they really helped um, protect against particular infectious and parasitic diseases and immunize against. So another example is that continuation again, like we've got COVID, there's vaccinations being developed for all different types of diseases and illnesses across the world. Injuries and poisoning. So um, antibiotics, that's a really good example because antibiotics are used to treat infection. Cardiovascular disease, the heart lung, bi um, heart lung bypass machine. So it helps perform heart surgeries. So it doesn't, it's not the actual surgery. It's a machine that helps support the um, the extended time required when you're getting extensive heart surgery. So that's really important that you understand what that means. Um, cancer, chemotherapy, um, which you all should be familiar with. So that's going to help improve the quality of life of cancer patients. And then respiratory diseases as well, um, of asthma pump or Ventolin to help with breathing and to help with restricted airways. So if we go back to what the advantages are of the biomedical model, in terms of it extends life expectancy, it improves quality of life, it helps with um, advancements of medical technology and it helps treat diseases effectively. These are all examples of what has been done by the biomedical model to treat things effectively, to increase that life expectancy, to improve quality of life. Um, there may be more examples. And like I said, you might not get a disease that is specifically on here, you, but lots of the data that we have looked at will have these particular diseases. And if it's asking you um, some examples of strengths of the biomedical model or explain how the biomedical model may have led to a reduction in deaths from one of these diseases, then this is the table that you can help use to refer um, to help you answer that particular question. So with the advantages, there does come the disadvantages as well or you might say the word limitations. So we spoke about that the biomedical model is purely based upon health workers and the medical profession and technology. So with that becomes very costly and it may not be affordable um, for all population groups. So if we're looking at those groups we looked at earlier in terms of low SCS, um, indigenous and groups like that, they may not be able to access some of the treatments because individuals are the focus of this approach as well. And um, the reliance on healthcare workers like specialists and people like that, there is a heavy cost associated with that. Um, and especially if you're going in for elective surgery or special surgeries um, and require ongoing treatment, it can be extremely um, hard for people on lower incomes to afford. It also doesn't always uh, promote good health and well-being. 
So because it is really heavily focused on that quick fix or that Band-Aid sort of solution, it can focus so much on the condition itself rather than looking at the factors that cause it, which we'll then talk about when we talk about the social model. Um, not every condition can be treated as well. So again, if we use the example I used earlier about if someone goes in and has a, a heart attack and then goes and has surgery, if they don't then go and fix the behaviours that may have led to the heart attack, such as um, physical inactivity or a poor diet or things like that, then they may require surgery again as they may have another heart, heart attack. There's also some conditions that even through treatment, they may not to be able to be cured. So cancer is a really good example of that. So these are all the disadvantages um, of the biomedical model. So it is important to make sure that you understand to the explanation. So you're not just identifying for each example. So this is an example of one of the five categories of disease and a typical exam question that you might get. I've just made it two marks for now, but it can range from four to six. It could be any type of question. There might be some data attached to it where you might have to choose one of the diseases in the graph or table or whatever it may be and explain how the biomedical model have led to improvements or whatever the data has show, is showing you. So I just wanted to break down this question and then on the next slide, you're going to have some um, key skill and action qu questions to complete yourself with hopefully a good understanding after following these slides. So the question is explain how the biomedical model could be used to help reduce mortality rates from CBD. So we'll just look over to the right of the slide for now. So the elements you need to include to achieve full marks and to actually address what this question is actually asking you is below. So you need to show your understanding of what an advantage of the biomedical model is. Okay, so those advantages or strengths that we went over before. You then need to give an, a specific example that links to CVD. So an example of or what has actually been done to help treat CVD. So using one of those examples of medical technologies. Then you need to link to mortality rates because that is what it, the key term is in the question. Now I've um, put there question dependent because it will be very dependent what your question is. You might have to link to burden of disease. You might have to link to infant mortality. We don't know what you're going to, going to get, but mortality is a pretty basic one. So you need to make sure that you're really looking at that, underlining that and making sure your response is linking back to mortality rates. So let's have a look at an example answer. I've highlighted them in each color so you can see where I, I have met that criteria on the right side of the slide. So the biomedical model helps extend life expectancy through focusing on treating disease effectively. The introduction of the heart-lung bypass machine meant that people who are undergoing heart surgery could remain stable during their surgery, which therefore reduced mortality rates from CBD. So I've used that example of extending life expectancy with a bit of an explanation because remember, you need to do more than just identifying. I've then used that specific example of a heart-lung bypass machine. You're not limited to that. There are other examples. I've said what the impact of that was, and then I've linked it to mortality rates as well. So hopefully that shows you a simple question breakdown for this type of question. So these are just some examples of questions related directly to the biomedical model that were from past VCAR exams. So I'm just going to go through the requirements for each one and then you can fill them out for feedback. So question one, outline two disadvantages of the biomedical model of health. So outline means to briefly describe. Okay, so you don't need to have a full discussion here. You need two examples. It needs to be more than identifying and it's just going back to those examples before and that would be worth two marks. Question two, explain how the biomedical approach to health could be used to help reduce the burden associated with infectious and parasitic diseases, four marks. So here you would need two examples that are positives and strengths of the biomedical approach to health, linking with infectious and parasitic diseases. So remember linking to particular things that the biomedical model has actually introduced. And then here we're linking to burden, so burden of disease. So that's important. That's very similar to the worked example we just did on the slide before about CBD, but linking to infectious and parasitic diseases, and it is two examples now. Then the last one, describe the biomedical approach to healthcare. So it's two marks. So this would be 
utilizing your understanding of what those key elements or features are of the biomedical approach to health and putting it into a sentence. So you would need two points in your response to achieve those two marks. Now to finish this mini topic off, here we are looking at an analysis question. So if we go back to the skill, which is to analyze the strengths and limitations of the biomedical model and social model of health in bringing about improvements in Australia's health status. So here we're looking at, we've looked at already kind of analyzing the strengths of the biomedical model, but now we're looking at strengths and limitations. So the way to answer these sort of questions, um, this is just a guide, but to make sure again, that we're addressing all of those requirements for a question like this, I've broken it down into steps for you. So the worked example here is around injuries and poisoning. So that's what we're going to focus on. Now you could get a question that's four marks, five marks, six marks. You don't really know what you're going to get, but it does show you the level of examples that you need. So four marks, if it said strengths and limitations, you would need to be eligible for full marks, a strength, a limitation, and have a link to health status in there. Um, and then a six marks, you would be looking for two strengths, two limitations, and then your link to health status in there as well. Often there's some other requirements in there, but that's going to make for a really good response for your exam. Okay, so how do you answer this question? So step one is your as a bit of an intro sentence, you're stating a general trend or pattern in the death rates over time for the disease in the question. So we know since the 1900s that most diseases, nearly all diseases have decreased in terms of their mortality and then life expectancy has increased. Something to note, so whilst cancer and CBD deaths have decreased, they are still a leading cause of death in Australia. So that's just important to note. So you would start with a general trend or pattern in deaths over time. So I'm just looking here at the four mark answer. So something like over the last 100 years, death rates for injury and poisoning has declined, particularly after the 1970s. Okay, so that's showing your knowledge of what has happened for that particular disease. Then we are looking at whatever model that we um, are focusing on. So we are looking at the biomedical model. So um, if we look at the, sorry, the six mark answer, the biomedical model focuses on advancements in medical technology. So again, that's looking at that strength. So that is a strength of the biomedical model. And now I give my specific example. For example, the discovery of antibiotics following World War II, meaning infection following an accident could be cured, reducing mortality from injury. So I've got that link to health status in there. So I've got my strength. I then have linked that um, to a specific example, and I've linked that to health status. Now, I because it's six marks, I do another example. The biomedical model also extends life expectancy. So again, there's that strength through the improvement of anesthetics, which has enabled more surgery to take place, increasing the likelihood of survival from injuries. Okay, so that's really summed up my strengths. Now I need to do the, um, the disadvantage or the limitation using a linking word like however. So however, a disadvantage is that the high use of technology means the biomedical model is expensive, meaning not all individuals are able to seek medical care following an injury. So again, I've used that specific example of a disadvantage, and then I've linked it to the disease in the question, which is injuries. And then I'll finish it off. In some cases, the nature of the injury, for example, spinal cord injuries cannot be cured, meaning the biomedical model has limited impact. So Remember, we go back to that disadvantage, not all diseases can be cured or treated. So that is really showing the examiner that you have a very well-rounded response and knowledge of the biomedical model. You've got your trend in there. So it's showing you know the data from the 1900s. You've got your strengths. You've got your specific examples. That is how you approach a question like that in a really good amount of detail.